Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of November 28th through December 4th, 2022 in my B5 Archer and Olive notebook. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. For this week's spread, I'm focusing on these book and floral stickers from Millie Blooms. I will be pairing them with these florals from LPTG Creates, as well as these uh, grid circle stickers from LPTG Creates. I'll also be incorporating a quote from this book sheet from Alicia Michelle XO, these number stickers from According to Allie, and some month stickers and days of the week stickers from Create with Mandy. I'll also be using these three washi tapes in this week's spread. So I am going to start out with putting down headers for each day of the week. I initially was debating using uh, a different or different combos of washi tape uh, depending on my work schedule, but I thought that that would be a little bit too busy. So I ended up just putting down this mauve uh, grid washi and then this uh, gold foiled spotted washi for every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. And then I'm taking these uh, days of the week stickers from create with Mandy and pairing them with some number stickers from according to Allie. And that's what I'm going to do for, um, the whole entire week. Every day will look the same. I'm definitely trying to center these headers. It's a little bit difficult because I don't have any lines in to separate for each day of the week. Um, I do like putting in my lines that separate the boxes um, for each day of the week last and the reason I like doing that is just so that I don't end up with um, me putting in like these boxes or lines uh, and then having to put deco on top of it a little bit of a pet peeve of mine <laughs> um, but I, I think I did fairly okay with with centering these headers it is um this week is basically split between November and December. Um, and in years past, I've definitely really leaned into uh, holiday spreads and Christmas spreads for the month of December. Um, but for this year, I think I'm really just going to focus on using the stickers that I have. And I don't have a lot of Christmas or holiday stickers. So um, for the majority of the month of December, I'm just going to use, um, you know, non-holiday-esque uh, stickers that I have in my collection, um, but for the week of Christmas, I will use some more festive stickers, um, and, and those are basically stickers that I've had since last December. Um, I didn't buy any new holiday stickers this year, um, but I do have enough to put at least one spread together, so be on the lookout for my Christmas spread if you like Christmas stickers or holiday stickers. <laughs> Um, now that I have Sunday down, we are going to get into uh, creating a big deco cluster in the top left corner of the spread. This is basically where I like to put down a bunch of washi and deco, a quote sticker, um, put in, you know, what month we're in. A lot of times I'll include the week of the year, but I did not do that for this spread. So first I laid down that gold foiled spotted washi, and then now I'm adding in um, this mauve grid washi. I did lay down a large uh, grid circle sticker from LPTG Creates. And then now I'm going to put in this thinner kind of lined washi tape. I know I wanted to make sure that I had all three uh, different washies in this cluster. And now that all the washies are down, I can kind of focus on adding in a book and floral sticker, putting in my quote sticker, and then um, adding in one of these florals from LPTG Creates. And I ended up choosing this larger floral that basically has two flowers together from LPTG Creates. Um, these stickers are actually in like a beige color, 
which I know doesn't match my mauve washi perfectly, but um, I still thought they looked really nice together, very neutral. Um, so I put down that floral. I put down um, a sticker with a stack of books on top, and then now I'm layering this a quote sticker that's a little bit more vertical versus horizontal. I definitely wanted to make sure that the quote itself stayed in this top left corner and didn't crouch into Monday too much. Um, lastly, I'm going to add in a November sticker up top. I was debating putting November slash December since uh, this month does have uh, does have the start of the month of December in it. This week does have the start of the month of December in it, um, but I didn't think I really had enough room to do that. So um, I ended up just putting November down with one of those tiny little florals from uh, LPTG Creates. And now I'm just taking my scissors and cutting off some excess uh, because I did kind of go over the edge with some of my florals and um, that grid circle sticker. Now that we have that excess uh, cut off, we are going to transition to the bottom right corner of the spread where I'm going to put another cluster together. Definitely want to vary it up um, from the cluster up top, so I figured I'd lay down a longer piece of the mauve grid washi since in the other cluster I have a longer piece of the gold spotted. I'm adding in another one of these grid circle stickers from LPTG Creates and then layering on this gold spotted washi. In the end, I don't love the length of this washi, so I do end up kind of having to pull some stuff up and, and reposition, and you will see me do that. Um, now I'm going to pull in one of these book and floral stickers. I was debating adding a quote sticker, but the ones that I had left were just a little bit too large for the space. So I'm going to pull in one of these beige florals from LPTG Creates and then this uh, sticker that has an open book with some florals around it. And this is kind of when I realized that that gold spotted washi that piece that I chose just wasn't really long enough and it's going to kind of get lost behind my stickers. So I'm peeling up the floral sticker and now I'm peeling up my washi tape so that I can um, put down a longer piece of that gold spotted washi. And instead of putting it under that black and white lined washi, I end up deciding to just put it over. So I'm adding it in now, making that piece a little bit longer, laying down my floral again, and then now I can put can position <laughs> this book sticker and you can still see the washi tape. Once I cut off this excess here, which was giving me a little bit of a hard time, um, we're going to be done with all of the deco on the page. I did debate um, just putting a, a couple of smaller clusters of deco throughout the spread. That way I can use up those two grid circle stickers that I had left. But honestly, I thought I was going to make things too busy. And I'm really kind of liking this more minimal vibe. So now I'm just going in with my Micron 08 and my ruler to put in the vertical and horizontal lines for this spread. As you can see, I am going around the deco. So both on the left and the right hand page of the spread, there is some deco in the way of those vertical lines. And instead of going through the deco, um, I just kind of stopped short of it. Again, that's kind of part of the reason why I leave the lines to the end, because if I would have put the lines down first, I would have had deco over them. And I just don't like the way that that looks. So here I am putting in the last line and that is it for this week's spread. I really really love the way this spread came out. It's simple but it works. I hope you all enjoyed this plan with me. As always everyone please be safe. Bye bye.